What's up guys? I'm coming to you today with a sweet unboxing. Um, I'm going solo, so i got to hold the, the camera and try to cut this open at the same time, so bear with me, but y'all are going to like what's inside. Um, so, what these are, are very hard to get to. Um, Durango Mountain King Snakes. They are, in my opinion, the calmest king snake you can find. So, by that, oh man, this is tough. Um, I mean that they are one of the best pet snakes that you could imagine. A little invoice from Sierra Herps. These uh, went to Tyler Kennedy, and uh, some of these were produced by Tyler Kennedy. He's also known as the Greer Eye Guy. Greer Eye is the scientific name for a Durango Mountain King Snake. Boom! There's really nice reduced black. I'll explain the genes because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a really good. Uh, illustration of all the genetics of Durango Mountain King Snakes. Right, there's one in there. One in there. Somebody pooped in their bag. One here. Last but not least, right there. Alright, so they are taped. So once again, you're going to see me struggling on this video again. But... Here, let's do this, because I already struggled a bit. Let's set this right here. Let's try it. Wait, I put my knife in front of it. Hold up. It's tough out here, guys. It's tough. I know. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe that'll work. All right. I'll open up this one. Showing. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Awesome. Alright. So, this is a reduced black during a mountain king snake. That is one of the genes that makes up the super hypo. And the super hypo, we believe is reduced black, hypomelanistic, and light phase all together. And we think that they're all recessives, but we're not sure. Uh, Tyler told me that this one had to go in a deli cup because he ran out of bags, so um, she fit in there just fine. And these guys are uh, rock crevice dwelling snakes. They love to live in rock piles and rock crevices, cliff sides, stuff like that. So look how calm the snake is. I mean, it just came out of a a shipment. I mean, I can put my finger right in front of its face and it's maybe going to run away a little bit, but it's not going to bite me. These snakes do not bite ever when you're handling them. I've had them try to bite when I open up their tub and they think it's time to feed, but I've never ever had a Durango Mountain King snake just try to bite me for no good reason. So, um, and if you've ever held like a California King snake or something of that nature, you know, you can't always trust that they're not going to bite. So, light phase right there. There's another light phase in here. Um, we can pull this guy out real fast. I don't want to make this a super long video, but, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. I don't know if this light is really helping here. I feel like it's making a shadow for you guys. All right. Boom! Wow. So, if I'm talking about reduced black, pick up the camera. This is a pretty darn good example. There's not much black to speak of. Come on, focus. There we go. 
Gurirai or Durango Mountain Kings also have really cool. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a better handle on this guy. I'm working on my camera skills, guys. It's not easy. Um, they have really, really cool head stamps. I've heard people say that maybe it's a bit of a lure that they can have their head hanging out of a crack and that little head stamp will appear to a lizard like a little insect or something and then if the lizard goes to try to bite the insect then the snake can snatch the lizard so I think that's kind of an interesting idea might be true might not I mean if I was a greer eye it's worth a try you know it might not work every time but it's worth a try all right I'm gonna set this camera back down I'll put this guy back away and then let's dig into some of these larger snakes bags go in there buddy all right put that one down I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna try to open all the bags at once so I can just freely go from one to the next and then I don't have to interrupt the video 50 times um, you know putting the phone down taking it back up all that. So I'm just going to open them all up right now. You can skip to 25 seconds later, whatever it is, if you want. Um, in the meantime, though, a little bit of information about Durango Mountain King Snakes. They are sometimes notoriously difficult to get feeding as babies because they do love a lizard. Um, you know, part of where they live uh, in rock outcrops and rock piles and stuff, a lot of their food source is going to be lizards down in central Mexico. Um, that's just the way that it is when you live in that type of environment. So, as babies, sometimes you need to get them going um, on mice by doing different tricks and scenting with lizards and all that different type of stuff. Um, I'm going to do another video very soon about tricks to get baby king snakes feeding, but... Um, you should know that shouldn't deter you from buying a Durango Mountain King Snake. Once that snake is eating and established on mice or rodents, they're established on mice and rodents, and they're not going to go back. Um, you know, I don't, I mean, I'm sure it's happened before, but I mean, by and large, I don't think I've ever had a time where a Greer Eye of mine has started to eat rodents successfully and then wanted lizards again later and like refused to feed or something like that. They are bulletproof when you get them on mice. They're just as good of a pet as a corn snake or something like that. Once they eat rodents, they're set. You don't have to worry about it. They're going to eat for you. And they're just an incredible pet snake. I would, if I was going to um, recommend a pet snake for a family member or something like that, you know, with a, a kid or somebody who just wants a really calm snake, I would recommend a Durango Mountain King Snake over a corn snake. That's no joke. Oh, this one shed while it was in, in transit. All right. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a super hypo. Come on, put your head over here. There we go. This is the pinnacle of Mountain King Snakes, I think. Look at the beauty of that thing. It's crazy. Um, yeah, like I said, light phase, reduced black and hypomelanistic. So if you see these little little blotches right here, which should be, you know, in a normal during a mountain king snake, they should be the outer outline of the saddles. They would be a solid black color. These are not. They are muted and more of a brown color. So that makes it hypomelanistic. Let me stick this guy back in here. That's why he pooped in his bag, because he shed at the same time. Snakes often, or maybe always, I don't know. Look at this little guy. This is so exciting. What a great shipment. Woohoo! Another super hypo. There's the focus. What incredible animals. 
Look at the head stamp on this thing. It's completely obliterated. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna do something different with lighting in the next video. No doubt. Alright, let's see if we can, we can usher him back into his hiding spot. Gosh, the focus is stupid. Alright, I'm turning this light off. Getting rid of it. I don't know if that's any better. But, see that? Look what a calm snake that is. Just crawling right back into his bag. Go back in there, buddy. And you're going to have to stay in there. Sorry. Just for a minute. Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, big bomber. It's a big old Greer eye in here. Look at that. Wow. Let's not get stuck to this tape. Nice. This is like an old school looking super hypo. I love the look of this thing. Look at how big those red bands are. This is that head stamp that I was talking about. Gosh, I'm really sorry about the lighting. I don't know what's going on. See how it looks like kind of like a insect wings or something of that nature. Let me get them all the way out real quick. Sorry. You can see the size of this animal. It's really impressive. This is as big as a Durango Mountain King Snake is going to get. He's probably a solid three feet. Maybe a couple extra inches. What an awesome animal. Alright, I've got a feeling he's going to be a little harder to get back in the bag. So... I'm going to use an, another hand, sorry. Plop this guy back in. Alright, last one. Ooh, this is an interesting one. I don't know if you guys can see in there. See, I can just put my hand in there. There's no fear. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is a nice animal. Wow. Okay, so, genetically... This one's tough. This one's tough. Um, I don't think it's hypomelanistic because see that black is a true black. It's not a muted, washed out brown. It's a reduced black. Um, reduced black is an interesting gene. It can be kind of hard to distinguish sometimes um, because if you look at this snake, it has quite a quite a good amount of black on it, but. Um, Normal Durango Mountain King Snakes will usually have um, black encircling the whole saddle or the whole um, orange or red area. Um, and a lot of times with re reduced black, you'll see that the black will kind of bleed down to the sides like this and just not, not completely encircle the uh, saddle. So um, I'm going to have to do another video on... Uh, hypomelanistic and light phase but anyway this is a sweet unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you tyler kennedy greer eye guy go go follow him he's got some cool stuff um i think his business name is mexican king snake cartel so go check him out keep an eye out for more videos please like and subscribe i've got like 125 subscribers that's just totally sad um and i will deserve more I promise because I will be putting out more content I've got so many field herping videos from this summer I've just got to get the snakes down for hibernation so that I can start editing and stuff like that so um, that's that's the challenge having hundreds of snakes and having time for a YouTube channel but um, I promise I'm making an effort all right stay tuned see you guys